To build their dream house, many homeowners might have the misconception that they need to completely destroy the original structure of an old house. Why not find ideas to improve on the existing structure instead? This leads us to the idea of home extensions, a way of creating extra space through new volumes and voids. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seats. In today's episode, we are showcasing a terrace house which kept its original structure but redefined its living spaces with a unique pavilion extension. Now, before we begin, a friendly reminder, if you're not clicked on that subscribe button, do it now and stay in the loop of more upcoming design and architecture related content. Occupying a corner, a family home is wrapped in minimalist black and white. Its white brick wall curving at the corner and greenery peeking over. Nestled in Bangsa, with a stunning city setting, we discovered a house with a fascinating extension of a curious round structure. But we could never have imagined the architectural innovation inside it. This is a home where you can gaze not only at the city skyline, but also at different views created by the architect's imaginative structural design. Hi, I'm Fabian Tan, principal of Fabian Tan Architect. The client's brief was essentially to maintain the house as it is. They're a very young couple, so they wanted a house that was comfortable, but also maintained the original elements of the house. The original house is, of course it has a corner land, but it wasn't extended to the front and also it wasn't extended to the sides. So the original part of the house was maintained, but the parts that were extended was the front, the rear and the sides because we wanted to make full use of the views towards the garden, which is essentially the essence of a corner terrace house. I believe one of the main ideas behind the house was to utilize the corner garden as much as possible. So what we did was to have an open linear pan where the dining and kitchen is to open up towards the side of the garden to view into the garden. And the actual living room is actually extended to the side to also take advantage of the front and rear view of the garden. Entering the house, the guest room beside sits on the left. In minimalist design, the hallway subtly draws attention to the ascending steps. Beyond the ascending steps is a teaser of an open dining and dry kitchen filled with natural lighting. Once you reach the top of the steps, you realise the living room extends to the side. Upon entering the living room reveals a surprising double volume pavilion, making full use of the house corner lot space. An unconventional living room with different views of both the front and the rear garden. So the main part of the house that was extended out, I wanted it to have a form of a double volume. In essence, when it's in a double volume, it connects to the family room on the first floor by the void that's created. By doing that, we have the upper part of the house. Interesting vertical ranges adorn the inside of the dome roof. The material of the entire roof is shiny metallic, creating a futuristic and clean look. The shiny reflective surface also makes the room appear larger, and opening from the first floor overlooks the living room. I've always imagined in old houses, old shop lots where they have the retractable roof. The use of it was to bring in light and ventilation. So I wanted to do that in a very different perspective. So I came up with a circular shape which has two C door panels that pivots in the centre. When it opens up, it creates an opening to the sky. When you look up, the sky almost opens up to you. I call it kissing the sky. 
So that brings in a lot of light and ventilation and a very interesting composition of how you view the house. Because once the C panel door opens, it creates a lot of interesting composition. The complexity of building this structure was quite complicated. When we thought of the idea, we were also thinking of how to build it and how to make it practical. Because I believe in practicality in designs. There is a flat concrete slab that sits above this that also doubles up as a rooftop deck. But if you see the structure closely, most people don't notice that it's supported by two steel columns that's embedded in the actual C-panel door itself, where the pivot point actually is. So that's how we make it look like it's floating. For those of you new to Design C, we have previously featured another unique extension project by Fabian Tan called the Billboard House. The Billboard House is among various other terrace transformation projects that we featured. Don't miss out on amazing house transformations by subscribing to us now. So click on the subscribe button and stay tuned. Join us in our journey to uplift and inspire the design scene by joining our membership program. With a minimum amount from $2.50 a month, we can expand our team and continue to bring you more interesting design contents. The extension paired with the open floor plan for the dining and dry kitchen reorientates the home towards the private garden enclave. Big sliding glass doors create a moving glass wall surrounding the dining and dry kitchen areas. Opening to the beautiful garden, the sliding doors create a direct interior-exterior view, seamlessly connecting both areas. Initially, uh, the house has an open living area and dining area. The, the living area being at the lower part of the house, where the dining area is at the upper part of the house and the kitchen is at the back with walls. And it doesn't open up to the sides as much. So what we've done is we created on the lower part of portion of the house that was original to have an entrance foyer and we open up where the actual dining and kitchen is to have an open plan. And then on the left portion of the house is where the utility areas are and by virtue of doing this, we basically open up the house to the rear and also to the sides by providing a large sliding door openings. By its uh, virtual extension, it does provide a very private enclave of the garden that is embracing nature itself. Most of the time when we have sliding glass doors, we tend to have a fixed panel at the edge. And that restricts the opening that allows you to have a clear view of the garden. The architect of this project, Fabian Tan, came up with this interesting idea where he's able to hide all the sliding door panels behind the column that holds the entire structure of the property. Looking at the floor plan, you could tell that when the sliding door opens, there's a fixed wall panel that hides right behind the wall that functions as a column. This is a clever idea of how you could maximize the window opening to make sure that the sliding door opens up directly to the private enclave. The original staircase was actually one of those typical terrace house staircase made out of uh, steel and timber treads. But we've transformed that into a concrete staircase with timber treads. But the only difference is we widened portion of the staircase at, from the ground floor leading up to the first floor. So it kind of looks like a little mini amphitheater. And by virtue of doing this, there's an illusion that the space actually widens up to the dining area. Widening the staircase at the base forms the illusion of a bigger space. The wooden staircase surface doubles as a cosy seat with a view of the garden as an extension to the dining area. Upstairs in the family area, an opening into the double volume space overlooks the living room. By exploring spatial dimensions within a home, seamless multifunctional living spaces are created. Similar to the living room, the family area enjoys different scenic views. The panels, once fully open, allow natural airflow and light into the upper floors without sacrificing any privacy. 
from this space, you face towards the front, you have a view towards the front. And by virtue of the C panel doors opening up, you create a kind of like a private space when it's fully open because from the opposite portion of the house, they can't see into the family room. But you open up the size of it, so there's a different interaction of how the space is open. In the corner stands a distinctive spiral staircase leading to a mysterious hatch. In all white, the spiral form also blends into the background. Climbing it leads to an open roof viewing deck built on the top of the pavilion extension. An open air seating in cool evenings or a viewing deck right under the stars. This is one of Fabian Tan's signature pieces. I don't know what's this obsession with rooftops, but I always feel that roofs are wasted and if they have been utilised, it will be much more nicer. The impression of the master bedroom is clean and sophisticated in its simplicity. A small skylight draws in natural light into the dark corner of the bedroom above the wardrobe. Paired with this tranquil wheel into its own garden, the entire bedroom feels cosy and serene. Essentially, in bedrooms, I don't like clutter. So if it's possible, if I can hide it, I can hide it as much as possible then it would be ideal. So for example, in the bedroom, there's the cabinets and within those cabinets are a hidden dressing table. And as you know, dressing tables are always filled with stuff. So I actually had the cabinet door that has a full-length mirror behind. It can be opened up and it can be used. And when it's used, you just close it, the entire thing. When homeowners renovate in densely populated neighbourhoods like terrace houses, the challenge is that most people are forced to follow a fixed template. However, this home defies that, creating light-filled spaces while providing for its residents' needs for privacy. All due to the clever space planning by the architect to the existing floor plans of what would have otherwise been a normal terrace house. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seed. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you're not subscribed to us yet, please subscribe to the channel and support us in growing this interior design and architecture scene. Thank you, I'll see you guys next week.